Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn about XPath. The XPath is used to find a particular element in a web page. I've opened up a demo page.com site. In this site, we have the list of uh, electronic and laptop items displayed over here. Now, using XPath, if I try, if I wanted to identify this particular element, example Nexus 6, right? So I just inspect it. So I wanted to traverse to this particular element. How do we do this? So we'll do with uh, using text exam. I am trying to access this particular element using text. Okay. So how do we do this? I'll write a syntax of it. This thing text here. Go here and type nexus. No, it is not fetching. Why? This type. You have to use instead of comma, you have to use equal to. So this will directly fetch this particular element nexus 6. This is uh, this particular element is present inside this H4, right? And you can also give instead of uh, star, you can specify A. So this refers to this particular element, right? Now, if I want to access using partial text, how how does it possible? Let me let me write it. Let me write the syntax so that you will understand. Over here, you have to write contains over here. When you write contains like this, it tries to find that particular element. And this uh, element href, right? So this is present inside the h4. Correct. So now I can also write h4 something like this so it refers the h4 is a parent under that we have this particular ahf link in which we can access this particular nexus 6 and we can also use starts with instead of contains i'll show you this is the keyword of it starts with and you can remove this here. Now it tries to identify the nexus L6 element using starts with. This is one of the method. When I remove this particular thing, I type. Now so use star here. So we know this is this particular element is an link. So what do we do now? I just wanted to mention this as a href link. Like this, you can use self and you can type href here. So, this refers this is a text that is a link text. Self is the one of the method in which you can access this particular text as a link. Okay, in, in real time, right so now we'll show you. So, this particular uh, iPhone, okay. You see uh, this is the parent this is the element of an iphone and you can see this element is present inside card title and this is present inside card block and that is present inside card uh, gender so th he, this is an ancestor which means he's a, he is a grandparent of it okay and for this grandparent we have the immediate parent as t body id so he is the parent. Now we will try to do access this particular element using parent child relationship. Okay, so this is the parent, right? I will try to go this. And if I try to access like this, it will never work. Why? We will have to use R tier. So when you use XPath, you'll have to mention at 
before that id or class or whatever it is now we have access this particular uh, parent and then i'm trying to go to the child of it Put at here now refer i'm going to use contains here right so append to that uh, image child of it and then i wanted to access this particular iphone so to see samsung's first element one two three and four five so fifth element right so i'm giving five i'm trying to go to this particular element inside this particular element who is the immediate parent if, if, if you could put the immediate parent as diff it will reach out here and then i just wanted to have this another uh, child go with h4 so now we, have, we were able to access the uh, title of it if i wanted to access the particular uh, price of it you can give h5 here i don't know i'm not very sure about uh, the immediate child how do we do that let me remove all this and if you give double slash right it will go it will try to fetch the uh, the exact element of it i can also give h4 here okay so you'll have to understand what is the difference between double slash and the a single slash Sing, if you use single slash you have to go to the immediate child of it traverse to the corresponding child and then you have to fetch the exact element if you don't want to uh, if, you if you want to directly fetch that particular element then you have to give double slash of it so this is how we will have to identify the a particular element in a page using a parent child relationship and you can also give here see instead of uh, slash slash you can also give child of it something like this use child or else you can use descendant here use this you can able to identify the child element of a parent okay now let me tell you now see you have access for the particular element right so if it, what what happens if i put parent inside this let me show you now if i wanted to access a h4 immediate child of it okay now i know the parent who is the parent of this H, uh, particular h4 card block is a parent right so i am very sure about the parent name in, in that situation you can use with this and very well mention the parent name of it card block so he is the parent of it if i am very sure about the uh, grandparent name i can also give using ancestor keyword you can also give ancestor or immediate parent so today we have seen about what is that how to access a particular particular element using xpath so I've, I've showed you in contains starts with using the immediate pair child using ancestor right so these are all the different methods in which we try to access particular element of it right so we'll see how to access this particular element using css selector in next session okay thank you so much guys 
this is my first video i just wanted to share my real time experience with you so i'll try to post different videos so that it will help you to grab my experiences and use my knowledge in your uh, projects thank you so much guys bye bye